hello guys welcome to the video so in this video we will solve the question reverse powers of a string so firstly we will understand what is the question and how we will approach it and then we will try to solve it all right so first let us understand what is the question so the question is we are given a string s all right so we are given a string as an input and we have to reverse only all the vowels in the string and return it all right so let's say we are given a string s and uh, vowels uh, let me take this string as uh, a b c g e f i uh, k u all right so what i have to do i have to reverse all the vowels in this all right and the vowels are a e i o u and they can appear in both cases so both cases means capital a e i o u and small a e i o u so these are both cases of the vowels and what we have to do we have to just find out first vowels a e i and u a e i and u in this string we have four vowels so now we have to reverse it and after reversing we find that u i e a so this is the reversed vowel so these are reversed vowels and what we have to do now we have to input we have to input this inside this string so what we will do at the place of a we will input u then b c g are consonants so we will not disturb it then i will get e so at the place of e i will put i then f f i will not disturb because f is a cons consonant then when when i came across a vowel i what i will do i will input e i will input e then a cons consonant k then at last i have u as a vowel so i will input a so this is the final string which i wanted all right so i have reversed all the vowels and i have got the answer in the, into that main string only and without touching consonants all right so this is the question all right so now how we will approach it so let me first erase this example i will create a new example and then we will see how can we approach the question so let me create a, another string a new string let's say s string s let me take uh, a k k l i g h o s sorry u s t m i you might be assuming that why i am taking this string only because in this string i have all the base cases which will hit and which will which we have to consider so in this one example only all your doubts will be get covered all right so now what we have to do first we have to find the vowels so what are vowels first we will just uh, get, take out the answer from it we will save answer and then we will see that after solving by a method are we getting a same answers or not so a i o u and this i are vowels so a i capital o small u capital i are the vowels so we have to reverse it after reversing capital i u capital o small i small a this is the reverse string all right so now what we have to do we have to insert this inside our main string so our main answer will be at this position i have to put this first element capital i then consonant then consonant then small u then consonant then consonant then capital o at the same place then cap small i then consonant 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 and small a 
सो दिस इज आवर फाइनल आउटपुट ऑल राइट आई कैन प्रनाउंस इट बट यस आई कैन स्टोर इट समवेयर सो आई विल टेक दिस आंसर एंड स्टोर इट हियर ओनली ऑल राइट एंड एट लास्ट आई विल वॉट्स दिस टी नो दिस इज आई या ऑल राइट सो एट लास्ट वी विल सी दैट वी गेट द सेम आंसर और नॉट ऑल राइट सो नाउ आई विल डिलीट दिस ऑल and now we will solve this sorry now we will solve this by using method all right so i will again recreate this example k l i g h o u s t m i all right so yeah i will delete this example and then shift this upwards all right i can shift this more upwards yeah so what we are doing can i create two pointers and then put those two pointers on the front and the end of the string at the start and the end of the string so let me create two pointers one is left and one is right all right and i will keep this at zeroth index and keep this at the last index all right so what will i do i will create a arrow here and write left pointer and create a arrow here and write right pointer all right i will cut this out because this is also our first step for this program so now what we will do my pointers i will check my pointers every time all right if my pointer is a vowel all right if my pointer is a vowel then i will stick to that pointer until my second pointer is also a vowel all right when my so a condition where left is also a vowel left pointer is also a vowel and right pointer is also a vowel all right so when this condition satisfied i will swap my left and right pointers all right i will swap my left and right pointers and after swapping i will increment my left pointer by 1 and decrement my right pointer by 1 all right so this condition i have to use every time all right every time either it is vowel or either it is not vowel or either it is consonant also all right i have to just increase my left pointer by one and i have to decrease my right pointer by one all right so when i will do this it will get more clear to you guys i will save this step also here all right now what i will do i will show you by creating my answer so when i was at left pointer i will check that my left pointer is a vowel or not so is my left pointer a vowel yes my left pointer is a vowel all right so i will so i will stop here all right then i will check that is my right pointer is a vowel yes my right pointer is a vowel all right so i will stop here and when my left and right pointers both are vowel so what i have to do i have to just swap them all right i have to swap them so i what i will do i will write uh, this string here also and then i will delete and insert so it will make you more clear about the answer so now our left pointer is a vowel our right pointer is a vowel so we have to swap those two values and after swapping what we will get we will get i in the front place and a at the last position all right so after swapping we will get i at the front place i at the starting index and a at the last index and now what we will increment our wait i will increment my left by 1 and decrement my right by 1 all right now i will check that 
my left pointer is a vowel or not yes no it is not a vowel it is a consonant so if it is a consonant i will check that my right pointer is a vowel or not my right pointer is also a consonant so what i will do i will increase my left pointer by 1 and i will decrease my right pointer by 1 very simple all right so what are we doing we are just traversing the string one by one all right at every character we are putting our pointer and we are checking that if it is a vowel or not all right because we have to reverse our vowels so i will check at every vowel that if it is my vo it is my vowel or a consonant if it is a vowel and at the right right pointer if it is also a vowel i will swap the value all right so very simple thing so again i will check that if left is a vowel or not so no left is not a vowel so i will increment this then i will check that if right is a vowel so right is not a vowel so i will increment my right then i will check that if left is a vowel yes left is a vowel all right so left is left is a vowel all right so if left is a vowel i will check that right is vowel or not so right is not a vowel so what i will do i will stop my left pointer at i and i will decrement my right pointer only this time because i have to swap the value of left pointer so i cannot go ahead by leaving that pointer all right so i have to stop my value till i get a another vowel from the right pointer all right so yes i got a vowel all right so i will check again that if right pointer is a vowel or not so yes right pointer is a vowel and left pointer and right pointer both are vowels so what were we doing we what were we doing before we were just swapping the values so what i will do i will delete this value of i and delete this value of z u and i will swap the values as u and i all right very simple now again same thing we have swapped the values again i will increment my left pointer at g and decrement my right pointer at o all right so we have seen a case where left pointer was a vowel and right pointer was not a vowel all right now we will see another case in which right pointer is a vowel and left pointer is a, is not a vowel all right and the third case we will see in future we will see that both the pointers are on a same vowel so what we have to do so we have done three three cases in this single example that's why i took this example all right so now what is the condition is g is left pointer a vowel no it is not a vowel so i will not touch this consonant is right pointer a vowel yes right pointer is a vowel right pointer is a vowel so what i have to do what i was doing when left pointer was a vowel i was decrementing right all right till i find a next vowel so this time i will increment my left pointer so i will increment my left pointer at h then i will see that my h my left pointer is at a vowel or not so left pointer is not a vowel left pointer is a consonant so what we have to do i will stick at right pointer all right my right pointer will not decrement but my left pointer will increment and come at the same place so now what now my left pointer and my right pointer are at the same place that means my left pointer and my right pointer are both vowels and what were we doing when left pointer was also a vowel and right pointer was also a vowel we were swapping the values so same i will do here also i will delete the value of o and swap the value with itself only so i will get o as an answer so all right now what we will do i will increment my value of left pointer and decrement my value of 
राइट पॉइंटर बट नाउ व्हाट्स द स्टॉपिंग कंडीशन स्टॉपिंग कंडीशन राइट तो स्टॉपिंग कंडीशन वॉज इफ माई लेफ्ट बिकम्स ग्रेटर देन राइट देन वी विल स्टॉप दिस कंडीशन और राइट सो हियर वॉट हैपन्ड हियर हैपन द सेम लेफ्ट बिकेम ग्रेटर देन राइट सो वी हैव टू स्टॉप द कंडीशन एंड दैट मीन्स वी हैव ट्रेवर्स्ड हाफ राइट फ्रॉम एंड एंड हाफ राइट फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग एंड द होल स्ट्रिंग इज ट्रेवर्स्ड नाउ और राइट सो नाउ वी हैव टू स्टॉप ट्रेवर्सिंग एंड we have to stop traversing so this is the stopping condition and yes when we stop traversing we get our final answer so this is our final answer all right now i will compare this answer by my old answer so is this same i will see so yes i k l u g h o i s t m a all right so this is a same answer that means our logic and our solution was correct all right so i will now solve this in code and i will place the same uh, algorithm inside my code and i will solve it all right so let's go to nados and uh, we will try to submit this code and see if it runs or not all right so we will jump on to nados and try to submit it so here we are given a uh, function string reverse vowels all right and in that we have passed a string s all right so firstly what were we doing we were creating two pointers so i will write here create two pointers so where were we creating and keeping it left at zeroth index and right at s dot size minus 1 index all right that means at the last now stopping condition or instead of stopping condition the condition for running let me write it condition for running and the condition for running is when my left is smaller than right till then only we will run this part now inside we have to check for two things what we have to check firstly i have to check that my left pointer is a, is a, a vowel or not and my right pointer is not a vowel is, is a vowel or not so what i will do i will create two while loops one for left pointer and another for right pointer all right so inside this while condition i will check that firstly my left should be smaller than right and i will create a function for checking that is if my character is a vowel or not so i will create a function by name is vowel and inside this i will pass my string and my index and if this is true then this condition will not work and if this is false then this condition will work same thing i will do for right index or right pointer also and inside this i will just pass my right index all right now what i have to do inside this if my left pointer is not a vowel what were we doing if it was it if it was a vowel then we were firstly let us say that if it is a vowel so what i have i was doing i was swapping it so i will create a function swap inside this i will pass my string left and right and 
I was incrementing my left and decrementing my right by one. Same thing I will do with when I was not a vowel. I was a consonant in my left pointer. So I was incrementing my left and at the right pointer when I was a vowel when I was not a vowel and a consonant I was decrementing myself. All right. So this is the condition. So inside this, when I was not a vowel, all right, if it is false, if it is not a vowel, so I will increment myself. All right, we are doing just these two things. And if it is a vowel, then I will swap myself and increment myself uh, from left and decrement myself from right. All right, so very simple. Now let me create a is vowel function. And this is vowel function will return us a boolean uh, true or false. So I will create a bool function is vowel inside this was what I was passing string and s and percent s and index all right so I will write it as index only because I was passing left and right both so what I will do now inside this I will check that if these are vowels then I will return true and if these are not vowels, then I will return false. So what I will check here, I will check that in my string at index, do I have small a, I will copy this in my string at index, do I have small e I will copy this why I'm writing this because I have to check that at that index there are only 10 10 things which can happen there either it is capital a e i o u or either it is small a e i o u all right only 10 things so I will paste this out and a e i o sorry small u now I will do for same thing for capital letters. So I will write capital A, capital E, capital I, capital O, capital U. All right. If at that index any of this condition occurs, so I will return true. All right. And if it does not occurs, I will return false. All right. So I have written uh, is vowel function and uh, we have to also write a swap function. So I will also write my swap function. So I will write my swap function here. Swap function will not return anything. So I will take it as void only. Inside swap function I have passed my string m percent s integer left integer right. I will create a character temp inside which I will store my index at left then I will copy this and uh, now this is empty now at left index it is empty so I will take the value inside my left index of the right index and now my right index is empty so I will take the value of temp here. All right. So this is our program. This is our swap function. And uh, I have to return our st my string from here. All right. So now let me run this code and see if it works or not. All right. So it gave me successful answer. So I will submit this code and see if it uh, passes all the test cases or not. So all right, it passes all the test cases. That means this code is correct. And I hope you understood this code. And if you didn't understood, uh, please go reverse and see again, because I have written uh, every comments where I was doing something. And this is a bo is vowel function. And this is very simple. Do not confuse in uh, in it. And this is a swap function, which is uh, uh, we have created swap functions below before. So uh, I hope you didn't get confused in it. 
so i hope now you understood this code and i hope you understood this question if you understood this question please like the video and uh, do comment your feedbacks below and we will meet in the next video till then thank you so much take care